What's up guys, you're here with Gordon from Big Dogs and you're here for your free picks in the MLS on Saturday, September 7th. Uh, in the sea of the national teams games, uh, such as World Cup qualifications in South America, UEFA Nations League, uh, I think there's something in Coca Cup going on as well. Uh, we do have six games on the schedule in the MLS. I honestly thought that there's going to be a full slate, but I guess uh, a lot of players are missing from some other teams uh, and stuff like that. And uh, we only get six games on the schedule, but it's still going to be enough for us to make some money on it. Now, in addition to this uh, six MLS games, guys, we do have a few more videos up on the Pink Dogs uh, YouTube channel for the Nations League. We have Germany playing against Hungary. We have Netherlands in action. We have Ireland and England facing off as well. And then on Sunday, we get some Nations League and on Monday as well. Now, for my best bets, for my premium picks, you can click the link in the description. And that will get you straight up to the pinkdogs.com website on my profile page where you can sign up or you can get a daily pass, three-day pass, or even a seven-day pass if that's something you want to do. While for the Golden Boot VIP access, which is designed for our higher roller bettors, guys, who like to bet at least $500 per bet or more than that, those are my absolutely top, top bets for every single day. Text the word GOLD to 443-780-5663. You'll get an almost immediate response by someone and we'll get you set up with that as well. Just have in mind, guys, this is a pass that lasts for 30 days and it's a paid pass. It's not a free service. Now, let's get the show on the road, guys. We won't take a lot of time uh, talking about these six games. The first one being between Columbus and Seattle, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, originally, I was going to take uh, Columbus on the money line in this one without even looking at anything. But then I saw the amount of players that they're missing uh, due to injuries or the players who went to play for the national teams. Uh, and it's a, it's a long list, guys. Uh, they are missing a lot of players. And uh, those are their best players. They are missing... Uh, Oh, um, Hernandez up front who's been scoring a lot of goals, Moreira, Farsi, uh, Russell Rowe as well. I mean, all of these players have been in great form and Columbus has been in great form with that as well. Seattle on the other side is in a bit of a slump. They've lost three of their last four games. They have a couple of missing players who want to play for the national teams. Uh, a few players are still questionable for this games, uh, game, but I think that they will be in the lineup. If not in the starting lineup, then definitely on the bench. And uh, those amount of missing players that Columbus has, that actually kind of steered me away from taking them on the money line. And instead, I decided to go with goals over two and a half, minus 133. I think that Seattle definitely will do everything they possibly can to get to the scoreboard and potentially get a positive result out of this game. But Columbus, even without all those missing players, I think that their form is definitely good enough right now to, to create some chances and maybe score a goal or two at home. So uh, Columbus versus Seattle over two and a half at minus 133. For our next game, guys, we have New England playing against St. Louis. Two teams uh, in a bit of a sloppy form, even though they have been improving, especially St. Louis, who is now undefeated in their last three MLS games. And on top of that, New England is missing three players uh, due to international duty, while one player is injured uh, and will miss this game. Um, I think that Seattle definitely has the quality to be very, very competitive in this game. They, like I said, their form has been improving. They're not missing many players undefeated in their last three games. However... They haven't kept a clean sheet in any of their last 10 games, while well, five of their last six have gone over two and a half. On top of that, their last seven games have gone both teams to score, and I do expect something similar in this game as well. I think that this is a game where we simply have to avoid the sides, and we have to take the goals, guys. And I'm going to take both teams to score and over two and a half at minus 125. For our next matchup, guys, we have uh, New York Red Bulls hosting Kansas City, who uh, is a bit of a, a kind of a awakened team right now. They have lost only one of their last five games. They're playing well. They're getting very close to the playoffs, uh, which is now only nine points away. And I know that seems like a lot, but in the MLS, it definitely is not. And if they can keep playing as they have been playing so far, they definitely could get there. Now, both teams have a bunch of injured players, a bunch of suspended players, and players who went to play for the national team. So this is going to be a fairly even matchup, in my opinion. 
I would even slightly lean towards Kansas on the double chest, maybe. They are plus 410 underdogs, which means that the double chest will be nice plus money as well. Uh, but I think this is going to be a very, very close game, guys. And, and, and for that reason, I decided to go with the first half draw at plus 130. I think if we're going to see some goals, it's going to be in the second half. And if we're going to see a winner, it's going to be a match. It's going to be won in the second half. So I'm taking first half draw. Chicago and DC United is the next matchup, guys. And uh, this is one of those games that uh, I think could, could go either way, literally. Uh, Chicago, we know how bad they have been this season. Uh, DC United hasn't been that bad, that much better. And on top of that, they have three injured players. They have two more qu players that are questionable for this game. While they have three players who want to play for the national teams uh, during this international break. Chicago is missing four players. Um... Uh, Two of those are for sure who went to play for the national teams, of course. Uh, but uh, I mean, if I had to choose a side, I would go with the home team. I think that Chicago has the quality. They have been showing a little bit of it uh, every now and then. Uh, but I think this is going to be a game where we're going to see some goals. We have seen uh, over two and a half hit in the last 10 games for DC United. Over two and a half hit in the last five games for Chicago as well. Both teams have been scoring a lot for both of these teams in their matchups. So once again, guys, I think we're going to see some goals. And because of that, I'm going to go with the over 2.5 at minus 167. Houston is hosting the uh, LAFC in the next matchup. And uh, you know what? Uh, this could potentially be a very, very interesting matchup. Uh, and uh, uh, Houston actually beat LAFC just a few days ago, just a week ago, 2-0 on the road, uh, also in the MLS. And on top of that, LAFC now has to go play them on the road without their best players. Boga is out, Bogush is out as well. Uh, yes, they still have a, a very high amount of quality with uh, with Giroud, uh, Tillman, Lewis O'Brien, uh, Hugo Lloris is still on goal, Ilya Sanchez is there as well. So this is still a very, very good team. Uh, but uh, it looks like that Houston has their number right now. They're healthier, they have more depth, they have more quality on the bench right now. And there's a reason why they're plus 100 favorites uh, against one of the best teams in the league, if not the best team in the league. So uh, I'm going to keep it simple, guys. I'm taking uh, Houston on the money line at plus 100. And for the last pick of this video, guys, we are going to the West Coast. We have Vancouver hosting Dallas. Uh, Dallas, who has been in a very, very good form, they're the team that's capable of scoring a lot of goals, but they are missing uh, four players who went to play for the national teams and three more players who are injured and will not be in the lineup for this game. Now, Vancouver is not in much better situation. They are missing five players now who went to play for their national teams, and uh, uh, Gould has been basically the key player for this Vancouver team. Pical. Uh, Fafa Picol has been playing extremely well for this team as well. Uh, Ali Ahmed has been doing well. Kubas and Pedro Vita and all of these players are now gone for Vancouver in this game. And that's going to significantly reduce their depth. Now, they still have some quality left with uh, with uh, with Kralak up front. Uh, Johnston has been doing pretty well, uh, scoring some goals. Uh, still a very, very good team as well. And I think they can get to the scoreboard against this sloppy defensive team like Dallas. So um, I'm going to go with both teams to score in this one. It's minus 161. Honestly, when I look everything, when I put it together, I think this one could go either way. So um, I'm personally going to avoid the sides in as many games as I possibly can in the MLS with so many missing players for a lot of teams. Uh, but I think we're going to see some goals in this game as well. So I'm going to go with both teams to score at minus 161. There you have it, guys. Thank you for joining me here. These were our free picks for the MLS on Saturday. Hope you have a great day. Good luck with all of your bets, and uh, I'll see you soon with more free picks.